Today we are bringing all of the MMA news straight to you with timestamps if you'd like to skip to any part of the video. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle, I am your guy with too many YouTube channels, and welcome back to everything that you missed. This week in MMA, guys, like I said, timestamps are there if you'd like to skip to any part of the video. Let's get straight into it. Little bit of a slow week for MMA news, but there is some fun stuff to talk about. Let me start off with a post from Championship Rounds. Bobby Green has officially changed his name from Bobby to King. He will now go by King Green, and this isn't something that just isn't really shocking. He's been talking about doing this for a very long time. Patty Pillman's been making fun of him, so I don't know, man. It's just <laughs> it's just really weird to go around saying, like, hey, you need to call me King now, you know? It's just weird to me, but hey, that's one of the, if this doesn't tell you where we're at with MMA news this week, this is how the video is probably going to go. Let's take you back over to another post from MMA Orbit. John Anik has revealed to MMA Junkie his interest in one day putting down the commentary mic to pursue a role as an executive, more specifically as a matchmaker for the UFC. Honestly, I would love this. I would love this. If anybody can do it well, it's going to be John Anik. If he really wants to put down the commentator mic and do something, do something, I don't know if you want to say, yeah, I guess you could say better, but it's going to be crazy when the, when the day comes where John Anik puts down the mic. I would imagine that's really, really far off into the future, but I would like to see John Anik as a matchmaker. He, who knows Who knows the fighters better than John Anik, right? Let's continue on to another post. Guys, if you are not familiar with watching these videos, we in these videos, we like to take a look at the UFC subreddit to kind of get a gauge on what the UFC fans are talking about, where everybody's at. We want to take a look at the top posts, the trending posts, the most upvoted posts. So this was one of the biggest posts of the week on the UFC subreddit. Everyone forgot what kind of a monster Daniel Cormier is. And I love to see this, to be honest with you. Because honestly, guys, over the years, Daniel Cormier has not gotten nearly the love that he deserves. And I believe that if Cormier was in his prime and took on the light heavyweight division, he would ragdoll all of these guys. He would destroy all of these guys, and I would put my money down on each and every single one of those fights. Pereira wouldn't be able to knock him out. Rumble couldn't knock out DC. Jamal Hill wouldn't be able to do anything. Cormier would be too technical and too heavy for Yuri Prohoshka. And Magomed Ankalaev, what could he really offer Daniel Cormier? So it's really nice to see people actually giving Daniel Cormier the credit he deserves nowadays because when he was fighting, man, he just did not deserve it. But let's move on to something a little bit more interesting. So... This, you guys might have seen the entire clip. I'm going to show you just a little bit of a part with subtitles over here. So, Alex Pereira on Adesanya from interview on his channel. Poetan, what a guy. You can see Alex Pereira talking about Israel Adesanya. I believe that I can see he is a good person, so that's why I'm here cheering for him. If he doesn't cheer for me, that's not my problem, but I'm here cheering for him. So, you can tell that Alex Pereira, and you could see this after they actually fought each other too, that Alex Pereira actually sees Israel Adesanya as more of a rival and someone who has inspired Alex or motivated Alex Pereira to do better and train harder, just become a better fighter in himself. And Israel Adesanya just does not feel that same way. Israel Adesanya constantly picking against him. Israel Adesanya, the, the drunk guy at the bar type thing. You can tell that they're just completely, completely different people. And I understand that it's a lot easier said when you're in Alex Pereira's position, but still at the end of the day, there is, it, it, it's just, it, you, we all know the kind of character of Israel Adesanya. So guys, now I want to move on to the next part of the video. That is every single fight announcement. I don't have a graphic to show you. I'm just going to fire them all off right now. I have a list in front of me, okay? Benoit Saint-Denis versus Anato Moicano at UFC Paris. Stuart Nicoli versus Jesus Aguilar at UFC 305. Jacqueline Amaram versus Vanessa Demopoulos at UFC Vegas 97. Faraz Ziam versus Matt Fervola at UFC Paris. Daniel Perez versus Victor Altamirano at UFC Paris. Umar Sai versus Dawoon Jung at UFC Paris. Ricky Glenn versus Kanan Song at UFC 305. Carol Rosa versus Penny Keenzad at UFC Vegas 95. Isaac Delgarian versus Brendan Marot at UFC Vegas 97. Cyril Gon versus Alexander Volkov, UFC 308. Aylin Perez versus Daria Zelenitsia Kova at UFC Paris. And Brendan Allen versus Nasruddin Imavov at UFC Paris. There were a lot of really, really fun, great matchups that have been talked about and made. It's finally that we have Benoit Saint-Denis versus Nato Moicano. Five rounds, main event. I'm happy that it's the main event above Cyril Gaon. I know Cyril Gaon isn't fighting at UFC Paris, which is really strange. You would have thought that that's the reason he's been sitting out. And if, as far as I'm aware, Cyril gaon has been talking about being on that card. Regardless, Saint-Denis, Moicano, that's going to be an absolute banger. There were a couple other fights. Like, don't get me wrong, most fights here, I would really like to see personally one that I'm not looking forward to is Amaran versus Demopoulos, but... Brendan Allen versus Nasruddin Imamov is great. I'm interested to see Cyril Gon versus Alexander Volkov because Volkov seems vastly, 
vastly improved there. And I would actually... Ah, that's a tough one, man. Regardless, extremely excited to watch. And we also have the return of Isaac Delgarian taking on Brendan Moreau. I love that fight as well. There's a lot of really good fights. So, guys, I want to bring you over to the next trending post. This was one of the biggest posts on the UFC subreddit over here. So, here's the thing, you guys. I'm a hypocrite. And Dana White, hey, kid, want some, <laughs> some gamer who <laughs> wants to fight you? I'll man dance with anyone. I don't care. And then Robert Whitaker, hey, mate. Dana, that's unfair, dude. Come on. I'm not fighting this guy. And it's just Sean Strickland, man, being himself and don't get me wrong i think sean strickland's great oh, i get whenever i criticize sean strickland i get a lot of people in the comment section talking about you know my political beliefs and i do keep that private but i wholeheartedly promise you that is not the reason why i'm kind of annoyed with sean strickland i think he's a hypocrite i don't like that he can talk about israel Sanya, you know doing stuff with animals and then as soon as somebody goes oh your dad and then he just has one big breakdown and that's totally not okay and he's being a hypocrite Yet again, talking about he'll fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. When he joined the UFC, he was like that. But now he's just sitting on a title shot. Yeah, he deserves it. But don't go around talking about how you'll fight anybody. and It'll be the craziest fight ever. That's another thing. He does the same thing as Adesanya. This, you know, we're going to go to war for you guys. And then... Teep. Teep. Nothing wrong with that. It's just... It, it's just hypocritical, you know? So... I just ask you guys to not assume anything about myself. More often than not, you guys are completely incorrect in any assumptions that you have about me in that sense. So sometimes I don't even want to talk about Sean Strickland because then <laughs> I'm just going to get all soy, you know? <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. But anyways, that has been everything that has been talked about in the MMA world this week, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you were interested, we have a full card breakdown for the next upcoming UFC event. It's a banger UFC event, guys. Check out the card right here. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.